we have completed the administrative center itself. So I'm very happy to announce that we now are the proud owners of our very own sector. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to set up our administrative center, uh, which is also going to double as a defense platform. And in doing so, we will be able to claim Nopilios's, uh, Nopilios, this sector, <laughs> as our own. Nopilios, I think is how the game says it, uh, or something like that. Uh, but once I claim it, I can rename it to Nopilios' Fortune if I want to, because it's then my sector and I can do whatever the hell I want. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, well, not really. Okay, so let's get started here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the menu here, and I am going to put this structure right in the center of the gates because it makes sense to, uh, because of the fact that it's, again, going to be a defense platform. And that way, if any enemies come into the sector, they just automatically get waxed. Um, so let's go ahead and start with a, uh, a plot. We're going to do a new plot here and, um, we're going to, let's zoom in here just a little bit. And I think, yeah, I just want to make sure that I'm facing north for the most part. Um, and I don't, I don't think this plot needs to be any larger than just this, the default four by four. So let's go ahead and create the plot and we're going to put it right smack dab in the middle here. Uh, we actually might want to move it over this way a little more. Well, I, I think it'll kind of look nicer if we put it here. Not that that matters a whole lot, I suppose. Yeah, let's just put it there. Okay. Good. Now, um, we will continue here. And what we need to do is find the admin center. Which I... At one point... Oh, you know what? I don't think... I think that's in defense modules. Yeah, administrative center. Okay. All right. So let's grab that and we'll just pop it right smack dab in the middle here okay and then let's just make sure that it's actually in the middle so we want that to be at zero meters that direction and zero meters this direction perfect okay so it's it's right in the middle and right in the center now it looks to me like this already comes with launch tubes because it says that right here But we're going to add more firepower uh, to it besides just that. Um, so I think that the discs are going to. Here, let's look at something. Let's go to the encyclopedia on this. So this has 16 turrets and six shield generators. It doesn't say what, how many turrets are large versus medium. Okay, let's go back to this. Yeah, see this has 24 turrets and 8 generators, so definitely want to use the disk platform. Okay, so let's grab one of these guys and... What we'll do is, I'm trying to think if I want to put these flat or vertical. Yeah, the problem with putting it flat is the underneath side. Well, 
I still I still feel like this should be vertical. I think it's going to have better coverage if we make it vertical. Just like we did, well, at least for part of our, our defense platform. So let's rotate this to 90 degrees. There we go. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll... Do something like this, I think. Yeah, let's start with, with three per side. And um, we'll see, we'll see what happens uh, from there. That's probably plenty, actually. But go big or go home, right? Okay, so now let's copy this sequence and move the same thing over there. Copy the sequence. And we want to... Oh, goodness gracious. Sometimes moving this thing is just a pain in the butt. Um. Okay, so now I want to... Turn I don't know how to turn the whole will this turn the whole thing? Yeah, it does. Okay, good. So we want this to go 90 degrees that way. And then we grab nope. Undo. Grab the whole thing. Oh, try it again. And up. What? Why is it doing that? All right, put it right there. I don't know why it wants to go at an angle. That's kind of weird. So let's just fix it. I want that to be right at zero degrees. Okay, I think let's do an overhead view. That looks to be straight from that view and straight from this view. Okay. Um, now, let's copy sequence and pop it in over here. Yeah, I'm not sure why it wanted to rotate that first time. I think this will probably be good. I mean, that's still a hell of a lot of firepower. It's, um... Yeah, it's a lot of firepower. Now... I don't know, does this station need a dock? It probably does if we act, if we actually want to land on it and maybe store some supplies. Well, we don't really need to store supplies because we can get everything we need from the trading station. Um, there's neither a pier or... A, okay, yeah, so that is suggesting then that, that we want to put a dock on here. And I'm thinking that dock should probably maybe be down lower. All right, so let's go here and we'll go, we'll go with the luxury dock because this is our headquarters office, but there does not appear to be a way to attach it to the bottom or the top of the center. All right, so that means then, let's just leave that there for a second. Let's go grab like a cross piece. Hmm, 
Yeah, I mean, it's like there's no attachments on the admin center itself, aside from where we put the turrets, which is really weird. So, what we might have to do in that case... is let's move let's move that away from there and can we just put the dock there Because this is in the way. Yep, I think okay, I think that's what what we need to do. I don't think we need this cross connector, so remove that now. Copy sequence and stick that there. Not really what I wanted to to do, but I don't see a lot of options here. You know, I guess, I guess the other question though is, is there any any reason to land on this station? I mean, is there like offices in it? You would think so, but maybe it's more like a land claim block kind of idea, not an actual functional facility, other than of course being a defense tower. What I might do, though, is let's move that away from there. Let's grab a small container storage. Flip it this way and then around this way. Oh, it doesn't have connectors on that side. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the, the more I think about it, this has got to have, it's got to have some kind of container storage. Well, no, I guess it doesn't, because it'll use build storage to build the turrets and stuff. Yeah. All right. You know what? I, I don't think, I don't think we need a dock on here. I really don't. Um... It's, you know, it's saying that there isn't, but that doesn't mean, that doesn't automatically mean it needs one. I just don't like, you know, that it screws up the symmetry if we do put one there. Copy sequence. So it'll, it'll do all the building from the build storage, obviously. 
Well, I'll tell you what. Let's let's go ahead and build it. It seems to not like though that though. <laughs> um let's confirm the changes. And we'll assign our builder. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build it like this. And if I find out that it does need a dock and container storage, then we will just add it. So I think what I'll do is cut the camera here and get it all built. And when it is all built out, I'll bring you guys back and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, I'm back with an update. Uh, we have completed the administrative center itself. So I'm very happy to announce that we now are the proud owners of our very own sector. And I'm looking up here. If we look in the information, it looks like I can even change the name of the sector if I want to. So I'm going to have to think about that because I probably will, will actually do that. Um, so... I'm supposed to be able to set some stuff here in the sector. Does it show up? Let's see. Fleets, stations, all ships. Ah, here we go. Okay. Yeah, so, so here I can, if I choose to do so, I can set what's illegal for the sector. Again, I'm not... I'm not going to do that at this point, if ever. I don't really don't see the point in in doing that in this sector unless, you know, let's say, for example, I was at war with the Paranid. And so anything Paranid specific, like soya beans and that sort of thing, I suppose I could see where I might want to outlaw that kind of thing and have my police force you know, stop them. So I, I guess I get, get it from that standpoint, but we're not in that situation at the moment. So we're not going to, we're not going to set anything, uh, as illegal right now. Okay, cool. So, um, they are busy right now setting up the, uh, the defense discs and both my own ships and the AI, sh AI ships are just bringing me supplies in like crazy. And since we're right next to the trading station that has all the stuff on it anyways, plus Reaver Industries headquarters is just one jump away, um, it shouldn't take too long uh, for this to get all set up. And here again, I don't, um, I don't think I need a dock on here. But what we'll do is we'll, we'll get it all built. And as long as it's functional, I think we're good to go. Uh, I will assign, well, actually, can I assign drones to it without a dock? Like, you know, for repair drones in particular. If we go to logical overview. Yes, I can. Okay. Um... It doesn't need cargo drones. We have a total of 15, but this number will go up as we add more discs. So I'll wait till all the discs are built and then I'll probably give it, you know, considering that it is a defense platform, I'll probably give it about a third repair drones and two thirds defense drones, most likely. Um, the only thing that I'm not sure about though is can I provide those parts through the build storage or does it in fact need then uh, storage and a dock? So that that's where we might need to do a storage and a dock. So I'm just going to wait and see, um, you know, how it turns out and then we will adjust accordingly. So anyway, I'll bring you guys back with another update here in a little while. All right, guys, I'm back with an update. Um, I'm pretty convinced that this is going to need a dock in uh at least a dock and probably maybe a small storage and the reason i think that is because i set it up for for drones but there's no there's no place for the supplies for that to go 
Um, so, you know, I gave it some money. I have the drones, but how are the those going to be delivered, right? Um, and they don't show up in the build storage because we would need we would see smart ship uh, smart chips and drone components in the build storage. Um, and they don't show up here. So, I, I think we're going to need a dock. So, what we're going to do then to make that work is... I think I'm, I'm, we're going to put the dock up above. But we're going to have to... Here, let's flip this around again. Yeah, okay. So, what we'll do is we'll... Go to other modules. And I'm going to put a short vertical here. Except for I want it to turn this way. No, not that way. This way. And make sure it's at zero degrees. Okay, then we're going to put a cross piece up here, and then we're going to put a... <coughs> Excuse me, good zoom tight. We're going to turn this 90 degrees. And pop that there. And then we'll put a just a basic dock here. It doesn't have to be anything fancy schmancy. Uh, nope. What? Why do you keep doing that? Oh, I, I know why, because I'm grabbing both of them at the same time. I want you to go. No, stop. It's the blue one. It keeps, it keeps tilting though. I wonder if it's because it's attached here. Let's unattach it. And it'll go like this. There. And actually, I'm going to move that over there for a moment. And we're just going to grab a small container storage. Turn it 90 degrees. Oh, shoot. That other storage. Yeah, all right. Do it again. Actually, you know what, too? If we do this, I don't think we need this connector. So we'll remove that. Put that there. Put that there. And that just... <clears throat> it gives it, hopefully, anyways, it gives it minimal line of sight interference so like for example if these turrets here on this platform are shooting up diagonally that way this is going to be in the way a bit but i don't think it'll matter plus that puts the dock directly over the center of the thingamadoodle which uh, is nice from an aesthetic point of view okay so that gives us our storage in our dock and then we've got that taken care of All right, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll bring you back when this is completely finished. So we'll go from there. All right, guys, we're back in our defense platform slash administration center is finally 100% complete. Uh, so if we take a look at uh, here, 
Let's see everything's done. I have a few items left over in build storage that we'll pull out um, and put back into the trading station. So let's do that first. And then I'll, I'm also going to temporarily assign um, a hauler to the station just to get all of its supply parts for the drones. So why don't we grab... Uh, let's see. You're not currently doing anything you have some orders you're not currently doing anything okay so I want you to trade for commander and um, he will he should grab all the stuff that that is needed to to make the the drones uh, let's grab our freighter here and I want you to transfer wares with build storage and just pull all of this stuff out of the build storage because we no longer need it and then <clears throat> you can put that back in here transfer wares with trading station requesting permission to dock docking permission granted turret components there we go Oh, for goodness sakes. Now who? Hermes Vanguard Cellar. Okay. Ugh, this is such a pain in the butt. Um, so it's either... It's going to be you. Wait, who? This guy. You're in Grand Exchange 1. And where's our dragon fleet? It is also in Grand Exchange 1. How convenient. All right, who's harassing you? I think it's probably this bastard here. Yep. Say goodnight, Gracie. You are a dead as a doornail. You just don't know yet. Okay, so. Um, yeah, here we go. This is our defense platform slash admin center. Um, one of the things, you know, and I've mentioned this before, one of the things that really attracted me to this system is all of the entries and exits are in one area. And so we now have a monster of a defense platform here. Uh, it, just like the one that we set up in Hatikva's Choice, this has also nine, a total of nine fully loaded discs uh, with plasma, argon plasma turrets and argon um, flak turrets, medium turrets, fully shielded. And yeah, it's, uh, anything that comes through these gates that's not on friendly terms with us is probably going to regret it big time. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, this is a pretty secure system, uh, right, right now. And you know, that's not to say we won't, we're, we're still going to keep a fleet. I've got, basically I got all my Corvettes except for the dragon here anyways, just you know, on patrol, making thing, making sure things are kosh, but yeah. Um, you know, it looks too like we have a build storage over here that we need to, to clear out because I'm not planning on, I'm not planning on adding anything more to this plot. The only thing we might do later on if we needed to is add more storage, but so far it's it hasn't really gone above you know, about half of the storage. And I think we have plenty of docks. So, I mean, <laughs> my goodness, look at all the docks we have here. I might have even overdone it, done it a little bit on there, but go big or go home, right? Uh, all right, so the next, uh, the next order of business here is, you, you know, I it is my ultimate goal, or one of my ultimate goals in this playthrough, to be able to manufacture our own ships. What I haven't really decided yet, though, is if I want to make a complex or if I want to make separate stations. It's all going to happen here in this system. Um, a complex is probably the better way to do it uh, for, you know, for performance reasons, for one thing, because... You know, if, if everything's in a complex, then we don't have extra ships flying around uh, or as many extra ships flying around, which, of course, you know, the more of those you have, the, 
the more it taxes the CPU. Um, so I'm pretty sure that we, that we are going to do a complex. Uh, well, I should say a partial complex. It's not going to be a 100% closed loop complex because um, it is in my mind to set up two more or maybe even just one more quote unquote trading station. However, that trading station or if I decide to do one for solid and one for liquid, um, work by them haven't decided yet. Uh, but that that will be exclusive to those two resources only. And then I will assign my miners to that station and all any other station and or complex that I build will then just get its ore directly from the uh, the depot. Um, and in that and in doing that, I, I'll be able to keep uh, or just have one set of miners for one station uh, and cross our entire empire. Well, I shouldn't say cross our entire empire, at least in this region. I mean, who knows what we're going to do later on in far distant places. But for now, it'll be, you know, to service everything in this system and our headquarters in the system over. So I think that's going to be the next thing we're going to do. Uh, this this build here of our admin center and defense platform went very smoothly uh, because we we basically had everything we needed for it, so it didn't take long at all. Not to mention the fact that it's just right across the way here from the trading station, anyways. But uh, all that to say, um, you know, we were able to support that build uh, and not have to you know scour the galaxy trying to find parts for everything. I did I did buy a couple of uh, turret components. A couple loads of turret components from the AI, uh, because that was the thing we were the most short on. But other than that, um, it just came together really quickly, which is nice. But, you know, if we're going to start building ships, which we are, that is the plan, then, of course, we're going to have to have everything we need for that. Meaning that my kind of what's in my head is that we will we'll just use our headquarters to to supply the trading station and our general build needs for the moment. And then anything we set up for our shipyard will be probably exclusively dedicated to the shipyard, which is another good reason why we should probably just put it in a, a complex rather than separate stations. Um, so anyway, that is the plan. And so... What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to set that all up off camera uh, just because it's really going to look very similar to this same kind of idea only with docking aborted uh, only with not that many docks and with liquid solid storage instead of container storage. Requesting immediate backup. Um, so I'll have to figure out exactly where I want to put it. You know, um, Nopalios is Fortune 3, which is through these gates here, is a really, really good system for mining. And so, uh, I do have trouble up here sometimes with, with caulk attacks. But, you know, I've flown, uh, you know, the original size of this system was more like about this. And I've flown way beyond the borders going all the way around, as you can see, and I never could spot a caulk station. Um, so my guess is that they were coming. They were probably coming from Grand Exchange One because there were there were a, there was a hive in Grand Exchange One or an installation, which is the smaller base, for quite some time. So I think they were probably coming through the gate and then going up here to be a pain in the butt because I haven't noticed a lot of them lately. But anyway, all that to say, this is a very resource-rich sector. Um, so you can see that it's got ice, navidium, or silicon, and hydrogen. And so it's just an, the ideal place to mine. So what I'm thinking is we, we build our solid and liquid depot probably somewhere over here. So it's right near the exit. So they just have to pop out, drop it off, and then go right back in and do their thing again. So, so yeah, I'm probably going to put that depot either right next to, to the trading station or maybe even a little closer to the gate. 
But I think I'll I think I'll probably put it lined up with this just so everything looks nice because you know I don't want all my stations to be haphazard uh, when the time comes. What the hell's going on over here? We got some some dudes mixing it up for sure. Oh, that's a bigger syndicate. And Ministry of Finance was uh, taking them out. Okay, well, that's not my fight. Um, at some point, too, you know, I, I've just been thinking about the, you know, what's going to happen later on in the game from like a role playing perspective, for example. At some point, the Xenon are just not going to be an issue anymore. And then at that point, you know, do we keep playing for a while longer or do we wrap up the series and start a new one kind of thing? Or, you know, that we, we don't even necessarily have to completely wrap up this series. We could start a new one, but also, you know, kind of keep this one going for a while, too. But just with less frequent uh, episodes. But all, all that to say, it's a bit unrealistic for me to be friends with everybody in this galaxy. Um, and I know that there is an overhaul called VRO that I watched... Um, middle-aged gamer a uh, play and am watching him play that and one of the things that it does is it doesn't let you do that it doesn't let you be friends with everybody so if you're you know for example argon and hop are enemies you you have to choose sides um so we might work some kind of a role play scenario later on into the game uh to that effect i don't know we'll see uh, no promises i'm just you know kind of brainstorming right now uh so we'll just you know we'll just have to see how all that goes so I guess that guy's just getting pounded by laser towers or something? Why doesn't he fly away? I don't know. Um, oh, never mind, sorry. I was thinking that that was a docked ship, but that's this ship. They must have taken his engines out, because he's not moving. Huh. Okay, well, anyway. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up the... We'll call it the resource depot. Um, so I think we'll just make it both solid and storage. We'll assign all of our miners to that. And once that's in place, we'll probably take a little bit of a break from building and jump back into some combat and do our push into fires of defeat. And while I'm thinking about it, I haven't actually checked things up here in a little while. Uh, let's take a look over here. Okay, so there's no Xenon coming through that way. And they haven't tried to retake that sector. Oh, they've re... Yeah, they've come back into Family Zen. Okay, we're going to have to go back there and stop that. Rise Defiance, yeah. We, we we have to we have to put a stop to that. In fact, they've already got a full station up. Yeah, they really want this system, but it, it makes sense because of its location. Um, Zyarth, yep, they're starting a plant in Zyarth, so we're gonna have to stop that too. So it's it's probably gonna be a little bit longer before we can do our push over into here. I mean, these guys seem to be hanging on okay for the time being. I haven't really seen. They even have, well, that, that's their Hall of Judgment. But it's, uh, Zyarth is much more important to me right now than Free Families. Um, so we've got to protect them first and foremost. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go push them back out of uh, a Families Inn and take out this station. In fact, I'll hit that station first because it's not even completely finished. Get that taken care of, get that resource depot built, and then I'll bring you guys back in the next episode and we'll probably, uh, I'm not sure we'll do it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> so anyways, thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.